Good morning. Oh yes. Hello everyone. Does anyone else do this? Hi, first of all, welcome to another episode of the marathon. Life's on a sprint, it's a marathon. Good morning. Does anyone else do this? Like have to instantly put their hair up when they're working? Guys, I know what you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know. I don't know what it is. I just like work better with my hair up. Also, <laughs> being in radio, I work better, like no earrings, no bracelets, clang in a boot. Uh Hi, how are you? We have a lot to talk about today. It's Wednesday and it's like World Happiness Day or International Happiness Day and I have a lot of thoughts about it. Yes, ma'am. But we're here to do radio first. So I'm gonna refill my water. Got my coffee over here. Don't you worry. In case you were worried, nobody was. Um, gonna do the radio and you and I are gonna talk today. Uh, I have like two and a half hours of driving to do in the train, so we'll do a little train talks about happiness and World Happiness Day and teaser. I'm gonna be talking about, no, I thought I had lipstick on my chin. <laughs> um, one very specific way that Jeremy's death has changed me. Does that hook ya? Does that tease ya? Keep ya? Right, I'm already sweating. Okay, BRB. Look who's hanging out in my office today. That's spring break life. Just cozied up on the couch, eating some snacks. While I'm sitting at my desk, working, working, working. Oh, hello. <laughs> Promised you there'd be some driving time today. Uh, we are driving for like an hour each way today. And I thought we could have a little terrain talk. We haven't done this in a while. Or maybe we have, I don't know. This is something that I was talking about on my show today and I did a social media post about it, but I wanted to expand since you and I have some time together. And this today, I was like, I wish I had a podcast because like I wish my podcast had started because honestly, this would be such a perfect topic for me to just like plug my mic into my computer, record a podcast and upload it. So it's giving me more incentive to get my button gear and to get that going for sure. Um, but. Yesterday was International Happiness Day or something like that and I didn't acknowledge it or talk about it on the show or anything because there was so much else going on but I was in my office this morning and it struck me how many tickets to things I have like Brian Adams, Pink, Beyonce and Jay-Z and you know I've been to recently like Seinfeld, Katy Perry, like there's something else in there that I'm missing. Miranda Lambert. Um, and it really just dawned on me like a big shift in my life and a big shift in my personality and what drives me since Jeremy passed away. And it is like a true understanding that life is short. Like not just like cliche Instagram, like cute photo, like, mm, but no, life is short. I, and you just like never know. And so like, what are we waiting for? I was having this conversation with someone the other day about like, she was saying, you know, she's older and she, her whole life just saved and saved and saved. And now she's like, I wish I had traveled and gone on experiences and done things. And now she is like booking trips and stuff. And that has been such a sh like internal shift for me in the last few months, probably like six months or so. Um, just being like, life is short, buy the concert tickets, you know? Like I did a whole post on Instagram today that was like, buy the concert tickets, eat the good food, tell someone you like them, buy the pants that make you feel sexy. Like, if you have a crappy job, figure out what to do about it. Like, you know, it's it breaks my heart to see people suffering for so long um, when it's, you can do it. And I don't, I honestly believe like if I can do it anyone can do it like people say to me often I don't know how you are so positive I don't know how you like get out of bed in the morning I don't know how you deal with what you've dealt with yeah it's hard and like you see that and some of it you don't see like it's really hard but it's because it's like a conscious choice I choose to be happy and I choose to 
remember that life is short and I want to create the best life for myself and for Thomas and for my family and for my friends and my new friends and my loved ones and like you know that's why for three months I was planning to go out for St. Patrick's Day it was like life is short let me try and get an overnight babysitter let's see what's gonna happen you know like same with why I bought tickets to pink and um, I'm planning, you know, a trip to Philly this summer to take my niece to see Taylor Swift. Like, that's another thing that I have tickets for sitting on my bulletin board. Like, I used to hesitate so much and, like, be unhappy for so long before I would even, like, get to a point where I could think about making a change. And now I'm finding myself much quicker to react or just act in general. And I think it comes with age and experience and trusting yourself and trusting the universe and just knowing, like I just said, life is short. So, yeah, I understand that a lot of people don't like to be vulnerable and they don't like to take a chance and take a risk. And I get that because it's hard, it's scary, and it sucks, especially if it doesn't go well. Um, but I am finding that the risk often outweighs staying safe, depending on what it is, obviously. Like, just this past week, as I was talking about what I do for a living, and I was talking about how, you know, it took me a really long time to leave Sun FM. And that has been the catalyst that the initial catalyst for me and then Jeremy passing away even more so like I have booked stuff for myself and for Thomas and just done things that I ordinarily never would have I think it's I don't know if it's making me more ballsy or just like less fucks to give I don't know what it is but it's like life is short figure out like what's the worst that's gonna happen You know, within reason, obviously. This is hopefully making sense to you. <laughs> I have also realized that because for so long, um, I was very careful with what I said and what I did because of Jeremy's mental health. Like, I was always trying to be a few steps ahead of him. You know, he was suicidal for a very long time. And so I was very mindful of that and trying to create a really like safe bubble package life so that I could anticipate stuff, bad stuff that was gonna happen and try and fix it or when stuff happened, like some of it I just wouldn't even tell him, I would just deal with it um, and like try to really shield him, which I'm not recommending, I'm just telling you like this is what it was like. And now, <laughs> Maybe I'm swinging like so far on the other side of the pendulum, but like not wanting to watch what I have to say or being so careful. <laughs> so I'm sure eventually I'll find some sort of like balanced middle ground, but it's honestly, there was a long time where I didn't even realize I was doing that. It was just like what I was doing, you know, what I had to do, what we had to do. But now, as I notice, like, make, in making certain decisions or, uh, yeah, in making certain decisions and doing things, <laughs> maybe I'm, like, a little far the other way, but what are you going to do? <laughs> <clears throat> and some people have been commenting today, like, it also took them um, going through quite a loss for them to realize this. Uh, the same thing and I'm hoping that by watching my videos and me being like vulnerable and open and honest that you can sort of glean from it learn from my experiences so that you don't have to wait until you have something so life-altering that it shifts you so my my challenge for you would be to really sit and think and even like journal about it and write about it and this is how I did it and I mean I've talked about this a lot but when I was in a really bad place a few years ago I started writing and journaling and I filled four journals in just a few months and I because I really could not come around to like what was wrong and why I was so upset and then also how to get out of it 
and now I'm quicker to do it. So like I've journaled a few times in the last few days and I'm quick to be able to pull myself into like, oh yeah, this is what I need to do or this is why I'm feeling this way or I can't do anything so I'm gonna shift my thinking. But my challenge to you is to try and think about like what makes you happy is it like for me, is it concerts? Is it live music? Is it travel? Is it like for me, it's YouTube or vlogging or spending time with your friends. Um, I'm really enjoying meeting new people right now and going out and getting some sort of sem semblance of a social life and like figure out what it is that's either you, is making you super unhappy. What can you do to fix it? and then make actionable steps to do it, or what makes you super happy, and like chase that, more of that please. <laughs> I think I even wrote that in my journal this morning. More of that please. <laughs> Smell a little food for thought today as we're driving in the sunshine. This is not something that came easy to me, and it still does not come easy to me. If we're being super honest, I am struggling with putting myself first, because I haven't done it for a very long time. And at times it's disappointing to realize how hard it is for me still. It's not like a quick fix or an easy thing. And, um, but I'm still working at it, getting really, really out of my comfort zone and hoping that that will open me up to like more opportunities and fun and joy and happiness and fun and joy for hap and happiness for this guy too. Um, it's not easy. Let me just end by saying that it's, it can be very uncomfortable putting yourself out there and it's not always gonna go as you wanted it to and it's you know not always gonna be a super moving forward up leveling thing but you know you know you are on the right path like I've definitely had stumbles in the last few years and um, things that have gone wrong and, and stuff but ultimately it's working sorry it's so bumpy I don't know why I'm apologizing for that. It's the road. It's spring. This is what happens in Canada. <laughs> the roads get bumpy in the winter and then they fix them. Then, is it like that where you live too? I don't know. Anyway, that's a lot of me talking. And, uh, oh, what? I'll never understand. That was an unnecessary illegal pass. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think below if this made sense. I hope it does. This is something that I've really been feeling a lot in the last six months. And I think I've said like sort of peppered throughout my videos, you know, life short, buy the concert tickets kind of thing. But I'm really feeling that way right now. But it's something that isn't necessarily coming naturally so okay now we're at a light so I'm gonna say goodbye I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I just talked forever and uh, the rest of the day well yeah the rest of the day is just like taking Thomas to this appointment driving home I have more work to do and then we're going out tonight to celebrate a friend of mine who is finishing her job today so uh, that's it for now. Please lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Lace up and subscribe today. Join the Marathoner Facebook group. And I'd really be interested to start a conversation on this and see what you think. And um, I'd also love to know what makes you happy, what brings you happiness, or maybe what you'll try and chase and get more of, please and thank you. So thanks for watching. You guys bring me so much joy and I appreciate that this is a safe, space where I can be vulnerable and I can be honest and know that you'll be accepting and we can all you know take another level of vulnerability together I need a podcast I could talk and talk and talk okay thank you for watching bye